Up to now, we've been able to create a class. And when we created the class, we were able to define our attributes and methods, both in the definition of the class and the implementation of the class. But as you saw in previous videos, the object really doesn't do much, does it? We have some attribute values that are sat there empty. And these attributes are supposed to be used by our methods. So the way we have constructed it, it lends itself really well to introducing constructors. So what we're going to do is make use of a constructor in our class. Now, what is a constructor? Well, a constructor is a special type of method. And we have the option of when we are defining a class of defining a constructor method. Now a constructor method is automatically executed by the system when we instantiate a brand new object. So as soon as we create an object, this method gets fired and any code within it gets run. Now when we create a constructor method, there are some fixed rules that we have to abide by. And these are a constructor has to have a fixed name of constructor. We can't name it anything else. And the method must be public and can only have importing parameters. And like I just mentioned a second ago, I just want to point out that constructors are optional. But you will find they are very useful and used in a lot of different classes. So now let's ask the question, well, why do we need constructors? Well, you've seen the class that we're creating, the car class we need to be able to do something with a constructor to fill our um, attributes of the class. So here there's a, there's a list, but obviously it can be extended. We can dynamically set the state of an object. We can use them to initialize attributes for an object, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We can allocate resources for objects, and we can use them to execute any code that we think needs to be executed when an object is created, when it's instantiated. So let's have a look at the code and see exactly how this works. So let me bring up the ABAP editor. Here we go. And what we're going to do is go back to the top of the class, because just like a normal method, we have to include it in the definition section and then go down and implement some code for the constructor. So what I'm going to do up here at the top, and I tend to put my constructor at the top of my class definition. I'll create a new line and we'll start with methods as usual. But this time, remember, we have to use the word constructor. So I will add a little comment here just to indicate that this is an instance constructor. which means it will get executed for each instance of the class that is created. And what we're going to do is using importing. Remember, that's the only one we can use. We can't use exporting or anything like that. So use importing and then I'll specify. I'm going to, if I scroll down, have a look at the attributes. I want to make it so we fill the make model the number of seats and the maximum speed. So these four here. So what I'll do, I'll save myself some typing. I'll copy that. Paste them in here. Okay. There we go. Make type C, model type C the number of seats and the maximum speed. That's what we want. We actually don't want speed in this because if you remember, we have um, we have these methods here that set the speed to go faster and go slower. So we're going to use the constructor to fill the make model number of seats and the maximum speed. And I don't need that. So when we're declaring these different parameters. That's how we do. We don't do a comma at the end. Full stop at the end of that, and then that terminates this method definition. 
So next, we need to go down to the implementation section. Let's do that. There we go. And we will add our method here. So let's create some space. And what I will do is method constructor. And then I specify our code to fill our class attributes. So we want our make attribute to equal the make that's going to be imported into our constructor model will equal the model num seats will equal num seats and then max speed will equal max speed and then if you remember we have a static attribute some class data num of cars and what we will do every time an object is created from this class we will increment this by one so we can add that into the constructor at the same time so we can just do num of cars equals num of cars plus one then the last thing for our method is the end method statement. So I will use pretty printer to tidy it up and save. Now that's, that all looks pretty easy, doesn't it? But, but there's some things we've got to be aware of here. Let me go back up. When I define this constructor, you can see I'm saying I am importing make model num seats and maximum speed. So I am defining four parameters here and giving them names. And normally within a method, this is fine. It doesn't matter what we name them because they are local to the method. But let's consider this when we are implementing the code. We're actually referencing attributes of the object that have the same names as the parameters specified in the constructor. And well, I, I know <laughs> that the, the ABAP system is going to complain at this. So if I try and do a syntax check, we can see here it's telling me the field of make cannot be changed. And it's not very descriptive. It's not really telling me what the issue is. But uh, I know that what's happening is the system doesn't know what make we're referring to. Is it the constructor? Is it the attribute? It, it doesn't know. So we need to qualify this with something. So in the next video, we will see how we can fix this syntax error by implementing a new way of referring to attributes within our class.